make it in life is indeed a great milestone. And congratulations to Pastor Mo Basieno, who turned 60 and he doesn't look 60. Mm, a child born in the 60s is now 60. Yeah, wow. indeed it was a great event. It's always a delight to be on your screen. He's your favorite host here, Matilda, and co-host to him. How are you doing? I'm doing great, you know. I just want to look like you, very feminine. But okay. now, I'm the guy, you are the lady. I'm the bouncer, you are the bouncers. Oh, are you being <laughs> serious? <laughs> Whoa. So, we were at the birthday celebration and Thanksgiving of Pastor Omo Basieno, the executive governor of Akwaibum State. And then we had dignitaries present on that day. Well, yeah, we had the former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Good luck, Billy Jonathan. Present. Wow. We have, uh, we had the, the, the former, former first lady of Akwaibum State, who happens to be the wife. Of the Senate President, speaking of Mrs. Ekaite Unama Gossi Lakmavio. Oh, looking gorgeous. As like. usual. But we had other She's women too. The, the First Lady of Aquaibum State, currently the wife of the celebrant too, was there. Yeah. And all the ESCO members were present. Then the who is who of Aquaibum State was ah, present to okay. celebrate with the governor for this great milestone he has yeah. achieved. You know, he's a pastor. And so yeah. we had virtually all the pastors in Aquaibum State. There present. I don't think we should be taking you all through all of this. Just grab your cup of coffee and grab your plate of any finger chewing uh, lickables. You can just have, you know, close to you and take a glue. Let's take you to the highlight of the event. Yeah. <laughs> 
I think that the best place to be now is where I'm standing. Because when you start to see the celebration from behind, you just want to be 60 even when you are 32. <laughs> Your Excellency, we will not fail to acknowledge the woman that makes you handsome. Wife of the governor of Aquaibum State, please can we celebrate the ever smiling Pastor Mrs. Fashion Sumoino. Amazing. Amazing. We welcome you. We welcome you. And you know, when Our Excellency smiles, any color the governor is wearing, her smile just complements it. It couldn't have been more beautiful on a birthday celebration. Thank you so much. Please let me acknowledge the Deputy Governor of Aquaibum State, Distinguished Senator Dr. Mrs. Akun Eyarengi, and her spouse. To celebrate you thank you so much and uh, we have our leader as a matter of fact many of our leaders are here today but I want to acknowledge a man whom God had blessed with the privilege to lead Nigeria as a nation at some point in our history we loved him then we love him even more now special guest of honor at the event we just finished special guest of honor even here and so you are still special in the event we have tomorrow Please, can we celebrate former President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Dr. Goodluck Ebele Jonathan, JCFR, JCON. Thank you so much. We are really happy to have you. Your Excellency, because you are honored, because you are loved, the President of the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is here in person. Because when you see a man's wife, you see the man wife of the senate president and the senate president combined please can we celebrate her her excellency the wife of the president of the senate we celebrate you and we thank god for your life let me acknowledge before i go back to abuja the speaker of the aquaibum senate house of assembly the right honorable elder udeme otong god bless you please can we celebrate him the Chief Judge of Akwaibum said, seated in her glory. Please, can we celebrate our Honorable Justice Ekaite Obot? We thank God for you. Please, I go back yet again to Abuja. I'll come back to Akwaibum. I acknowledge the Honorable Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, emphasis on gas. Please, can we put our hands together and celebrate you? Thank you so much. We bless God for you. I acknowledge, please, all members of the National Assembly who are here. I begin by acknowledging to my left, distinguished Senator Ekong Samson. We thank God for you and we welcome you. I acknowledge distinguished Senator F. Young Bob, distinguished Senator Aloysius Etuk, distinguished Senator Emmanuel Ibogesien. And please, through them, I acknowledge all the non-serving senators and House of Representatives members that are here. But we have serving House of Representative members present. I can't list all of them, Your Excellency. Ten of them, I think, are present. But let me acknowledge 
Obong Paul Epo, who is present, we acknowledge you. Thank you so much. I acknowledge Honorable Patrick Umor, who is also present. Honorable Mark Eset is present. Thank you very much, the Government of Divine Voices. Eternal Father, we come into your presence again, consciously. Not that we have ever left your presence, but consciously we come together into your presence. Just to worship, to say thank you, to say we love you. Because you first loved us. And that we want to love you more. We ask, oh God, that your presence will never depart from your people. That your name will be known among your people. That the sound of victory shall always be heard. Help us to be doers of your word, not just here. Receive our worship today, for we pray in the name that is above every name. I have known of occasions when people who do not re relate very well easily reconcile. Especially in a family context, one would say, Yeneka, near Ukom, Ukomabasi, Yena Marakar, Ubunyan, Amanarbo Fognan. So, in Fili, the Ausarima, therefore, in the Ausarunku, Adibabasi, Um Bobobasi. Tempo Rikida Afon, Yawo Fenonovo, Saiba Woman Fono Marker in Burumi. Can throw Mandi Pain, and say, No, be the tune keep Pagadam.
that the Lord has been good to you as he has been good to our governor. Can you put your hands together and celebrate him as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, the maker of the heavens and the earth, the one in whom we live, move, and have our being, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Shammah, Jehovah Ebenezer, the very source of our livelihood, the one who engineered the emergence and the birth of our governor, saw him through the first second year of his life, led him through childhood to adolescence to adulthood, and now he's the leader. If it had not been the Lord who was on his side, I can say without a doubt that perhaps the enemies would have taken him out of the mother's womb. The enemy would have captured his life when he was born. He would have broken his leg playing in primary schools as a child. But his year complete golden and leading a choir boom set today. If this is all you do today, can you put your hands together and just celebrate God for his life? Celebrate God for his life. Celebrate God for his life. Thank you so much. His Excellency, the former President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Abang Iberedem Ebele Jonathan. I, some of you will be surprised to hear that uh, the former president is an Obama. And I want all of us to know that he was given the chieftaincy title of Obama in Akwaibum State some years ago. So he's still an Obama in Akwaibum State. You are highly welcome, Your Excellency. I, today is a very special day because um, I've seen the goodness of God on my son. He's a man of peace. He's a man with every sense of the word that will give you love. I have known him. We know him for peace. And peace radiates all over Umo, Basi, in Oidem. And I want to tell you that trust him, believe him, is a man to be trusted. It's a personality to be trusted at any time. I'm saying this because what I'm saying today does not surprise me. What God has used him to do in Akwaibum today does not surprise me. I want to assure you that the personality is a man to trust. God bless you all. In many places in politics, once one person is out of office, a project not completed is totally abandoned. Am I right or wrong? So the continuity in our private state, we should thank God. Count your blessing. We've just heard it. Count your blessing one by one, and you'll see what God has done for you. So, a kama kwaibo mo yong bere kom yun bok so ubet kya buja bo yeki so eti beru sense yebi so yidi. But I will get him back off going down and maybe on Gayabe or something on you. Am I very careful? Come on, Yabber, Capatre. As a politician, you have not disappointed us. As a governor, you have shown that you are a good shepherd. Your Excellency, you are the champion of unity of our Quibom State. Thank you very much. Please, can you celebrate him? Thank you so much. He's just dubbed the governor, the champion of a Kwaibom state. Please, can we put our hands together one more time for him? Let's all, let's all, let people praise Him. 
And more specific to this occasion, we are here to thank God who is the great preserver. God is not just the promoter, He's not just the preserver. He's been a blessing of defense, brought defense, he promoted, he defended, and now we can talk about God the preserver. Today we gather here to celebrate the 60th birthday anniversary of His Excellency. One calendar year gives us 8,760 hours. So if you want to know how that is, how long it's been, 60 years will give you 525,600 hours. I like to say this in the light of scripture and in the light of reality. Every one hour of these several thousands of hours was laden with danger. Every one hour. As a matter of fact, every day, every minute, every moment of these many hours was laden with danger. To be alive to Mark 60 is not one of those things. Never assume is one of those things. People die in the womb. People die at infancy. So, if you are lying to see your sister or any number of years you are alive, is worth thanking the Lord for. We must learn to thank God with understanding. There are many more I can say, but I'll leave it with these three. We're thanking God in countess. We're thanking God with understanding. The understanding that he promoted, the understanding that he defended, he vindicated, and the understanding that he preserved the life of his excellency and his family, of course. General application. I like to say here, precious people, never wait for God to remind you your history. Never. Never wait for God to remind you of your history. Never wait for God to remind you where, where you are coming from. Don't wait for that. Whenever God is reminding someone of their history, most probably there's already a problem. Our Excellency, Coming in her candor, coming in her glory. Let's keep celebrating her or celebrating gl the glory of God on our life. Thank you. Welcome to our Bible. Dr. Goodluck and Ella Jonathan. Thank you, sir for what you are and what you wear to us. Thank you for remembering us once again. Your Excellency, the governor, the golden boy. Pastor, Umeno, who has sung CC today, but is living in a golden body. Your Excellency, the co-celebrant. My sister, Her Excellency, Mrs. Umeno. Congratulations. Your hard work your support, your love made this day possible. If you didn't take care of him, he wouldn't be here. If you didn't take care of him, he wouldn't be this fine. If you didn't take care of him, 
you wouldn't be this strong. So thank you so much. Today belongs to you. And my advice to you today will be that the success of his administration lies on your shoulders. It's a very huge task. It's a great job, but by the grace of God, and as a woman of God, you are going to do it well. May God help you in Jesus' name. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, and your dear husband, your Excellency, the father of our governor. Deacon Udomi Manuel. Your Excellency, the speaker and the chief judge. Your Excellency, the past deputy governors. Your Majesties, I greet you all, the members of National Assembly, past and present, we belong there. The former commissioners and present commissioners, we belong there. The former governors, we belong there. The only thing that we are not contesting with anybody is the office of the senior president. <laughs> and I am here to represent our own, our father, our leader, the father of Gabriel Udom Emmanuel. By extension, I am the mother of Gabriel Udom. <laughs> I want to thank you, Your Excellency, the immediate past governor, for propelling us to go to the center. If you had not propelled us, if we had not moved, Akwaibon wouldn't have been in the position we are here today. So I greet you. God ordered your footsteps. Your Excellency is the fathers of faith. I greet you, sirs. My father, his grace. Thank you, sir. Archbishop Ikuwem. Thank you for telling us to forgive one another. We can only pray that what we wish for a quiet bomb will come to pass in Jesus' name. Please, I want to go home in peace. So let me recognize my own bishop. Bishop Kalumio Sumo. The landlord of Uyo, Bishop John Aya, and the other fathers of faith and the wonderful homilies. Thank you, sir. You were in the spirit. Thank you for that sermon. Aquabam, they heard you today. And I know, by the grace of God, everything we've heard from the fathers of faith, we are taking it deep into our hearts. We've taken it. May God bless us. Your Excellency the Governor, the Senior President told me to come and represent him. He would have been here in person, but I think, or rather, the President sent him and the VP to attend a function that had to do with the judiciary on his behalf. I know that's the third arm of government, and there is no way they will abandon them. So he has sent to wish you well, good health, sound mind, that God will lead you. By your footsteps in life, God will direct you. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. He said I should sing a song for you. Please pardon me if I don't get it well. But he told me to speak it in the local language. I asked him, how do I speak it in English? How do I go there and sing? And you want to enter Jehovah? I'm in my own in prayer. And you want to enter Jehovah? I'm in my own in prayer. I'm in my own in prayer. I'm in Doing so. Well, we thank God. Today is a great day uh, where we celebrated uh, the life of His Excellency Pastor Mobas, you know, who has just turned 60 today. Mm -hmm. And the Lord has made it a very great event. And it shall be well with a quiet boom state. Yeah, the Lord will continue to give him the wisdom, the, the knowledge, understanding to pilot the affairs of a quiet boom state, just like it has been prayed for. Mm -hmm. And so that he will also have a good successor, a focused successor, as uh, was revealed to Udomi Manuel. So that is our prayer, the Lord will keep him and the Lord will sustain him. Amen. I'm doing fine. The governor has just turned 60 years. What are your prayers for him? Oh, yes. And yet, our governor has just clocked 60 years in life. Our prayer is that God who kept him to from year one to 60 years will keep him to 120 years wow. and beyond. Wow. Sir. Yeah. And I've got our very own here. How are you doing, sir? Very well. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excellency, the governor has turned 60. What are your prayers for him? Um, my prayer for him is and my prayer for the state. If you wish the state well, then you will wish him well. Because when he succeeds, the state succeeds. Aside from being my friend, a personal friend, he just gave me a call yesterday, and here I am. And um, I wish him well. I think he's a nice person. I think he'll do very well. I think it behoves all of us that love this state to join hands with him and make sure that he succeeds so that we all succeed. You can't even wait to go into the main event. The dignitaries that were present, their speeches and the ministrations. Hmm. Well, <laughs> the, it just showed everyone that the governor actually is a unifying factor for everybody. As far as you are from Aquaibom, yeah. even those ones that are not from Aquaibom, I love the ministration from all the choirs that they did wonderfully yeah. well. Wonderfully and did you notice another thing? Being that Governor Umo Basieno is a man of peace, mm -hmm. everything. 
turned out to be peaceful. Like seriously, it was like love. And everything in the air. was done in unity. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Till I was thinking you'd be talking about the cake. Ha, you and cakes. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, we are talking too much about the event. Let's take you to the event. I recall that the Bible says that the children are in heritage of the Lord, and blessed is the man whose quiver is full with them, for he shall speak in his defense at the gate against his enemies. And this man is also a father, which means as the son he is blessed, as the father he is blessed. I'm speaking of the father political to the governor of Akwaibom State. Your Excellency, our father, the father of modern Nigeria. The only man at this presidency, Nigeria's economic growth was the best in the whole of Africa. <laughs> History has vindicated you today. Help me celebrate President Good Luck Ebele Jonathan. Our mommy representing the Senate President, Her Excellency, our former First Lady, the mother of the Divine Mandate, Her Excellency, the normal girls from the Bureau of Parliament. We are Excellency, the Deputy Governor, and our father, Mr. Speaker, the Chief Judge, the Honorable Minister, former deputy governors of our dear state, the wife of the former governor of our state, please permit me because of time not to extend protocol. Why I recognize our royal fathers, but you see behind every successful king, if you don't find priests around him, know that he's not a king. I turn to recognize all our fathers in faith. God bless you all for supporting one of your own. I would have gone on with the protocol, but because of time. Your Excellency, I really want to thank God for your life, as Paul Apostle said. There are times, somebody like me, I'll sit back, and something will take my mind back. I start thinking, today I'm this age. What was I at age? one to five, five to ten, up to private life, this life. And where do I borrow that from? I borrow that from the man who gave the message today. He said, from Psalm 103, I can't forget during the day of your Thanksgiving in your village. He said, when you want to thank God, you have to go a little bit deeper and be specific. That David mentioned he said, for this, for that, for that, for that. So if you just go back, I think that's where the songwriter got it from. He said, count your blessing. Name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Can you take your mind back to your primary school days? Can you take your mind back to your days in Lagos? How come in all the happenings, God kept you till today? It was to fulfill the destiny in which God has predestined for you. So today, as your people, we are here to thank God with your life. Remember your days in school, so many things have happened. Remember your days when you were working in different private organizations. Do you remember, remember different breakthroughs that God has given you? I think that's the essence of today. It's not a day for us to talk politics at all. It's a day to do like Paul Apostle. He said, when I look at your face, I thank God for your life. Because if we all go back and review, what are we without God? What do we have that he did not give to us? So that's why we are here. And I'm so happy when you explain about today, you say you just want to be a thanksgiving. Giving thanks unto God is an obligation. Because the Bible says so in everything, give thanks. And let me also thank God for your journey so far. I was just sitting there. I remember one day, you know, where people attacked you so much, you came back to me and said, Your Excellency, don't you think you can look for another person and support as a governor? 
I think it's not possible that option one, two, three to the end is pass or more and all. That there's no option two. They attacked you everywhere, but in all, as the pastor said today, God vindicated you at the end. So we thank God for today. But I also want to remind you, since I have a very limited time to speak, of an angelic powerful message of a 60th birthday. You know, I normally, whenever I speak at birthdays, I stratify it into three segments. The time you must have a foresight, the time of your insight, and your time of your foresight. Today, I welcome you to your time of foresight. And that's the time that is being described as divine guidance and support that encourages you to focus on creating harmonious balance and prosperous life journey, prosperous life journey. It's a time for the completion of the six decades where you go back and then look back in wisdom. And today, God has blessed you with health. There are a lot of people that were born who did not reach 50 years. But today, God has given you that divine guidance and support that encourages you to focus, to create that harmonious, balanced, and prosperous life journey in our Bible. I pray for God today to give you the enablement, the strength, the capacity, the resources, the love of the people, the unity of the people, so that when next we celebrate you as 70, we look back and say during the day you stepped into your period of hindsight, you were in this direction of focus. I want to bless God for your life. And I thank God for all the victories he had given you so far. And don't forget that same God who had brought you this far will never, never leave you nor forsake you. God bless you and happy birthday. shepherd his people Israel. I think that is my story. I, God took me from the backside of life and brought me to be the servant of Aquaibom State. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. And I pray that, just like my spiritual father has said, it's been one of my greatest prayers, that may God continuously keep me small in my own eyes. And I thank Aquaibo people for that support. I want to say today is indeed a day to thank God. It is one of my happiest days in life today. Something happened inside this hall today that makes me thank God, that makes me return all glory to God. And I know that God is leading Aquaibo somewhere. I'd like to thank God for the life he has given to us, for my family, I'd like to thank him for all the journey he has taken us through. It's not been easy, but we thank God. And we thank God from ages past, from ages past, God has been faithful. There were days in this life where I'll come back from work 
and put my salary on the table. We we'll split the salary, and we all start to cry. And we just, because children had to go to school. Our parents left us while we were very young. My father died at the age of 50, and I am here today at 60. God is faithful. There are many things to thank God for. My mother-in-law died again, so I had the responsibility of taking care of all of my brothers who were in school then. And God, and in-laws too, but we're living in one three-room house. God saw all of us through. Today, all of them have homes of their, home of, of, of their own. They are big men and women now. And so, you can only see that it is God. If not for God, you don't, cannot lift your head even from that kind of burden. So I know where I'm coming from. I know my story. I know who I am. And I know that God picked me from the dunk hill and brought me to eat with kings. So it's a privilege. Forever I remain grateful. We are here today to thank him in the last almost one year, even through the elections. It was terrible. It was agonizing. And like my political father said, there was one day after the kids were all balkanized, they cried. She would come to me, Helen is our first daughter, and say, Daddy, do you really need all of this? You sent us to school, at least the best you could afford. You were not governor, you were not in, what are you doing? Then the last one who is not here, she's traveled, came, Ebenezer is like our small pet daughter. So she would cry and cry. So one day, one morning I got up, I said, I think I've had enough of this thing. And I know my boss, maybe he may not even be able to tell me, because a lot of people had gone to him to have option two that the way this thing was going, <laughs> should get another person up. So I went to him that day, I said, let me relieve him of the burden. I said to him, sir, please, I came to tell you that you can get somebody else, that um, because of the pressure, I don't think I want to go on again. My family is being torn apart, and the children, the man looked at me and said, Pastor, have you had breakfast? So, <laughs> I can't forget that day, sir. I cannot forget that he said we should go and have breakfast. I can't remember whether I ate or not. But he said so many other things. I was busy listening to where he will <laughs> tell me I was waiting for this time. But he looked at me and said, look, you see these children you are trying to save. If you don't pursue this matter to the end and clear your name, you would have destroyed those children and your generation forever. I have confidence in you. I know you didn't fake your results. So, option one, he said option A is you. Option B is you. Option C is you. Option D is you. And told me to go on that it is politics that it will be fine. I left. Two days after that, he summoned a meeting and repeated the same thing. It was not easy. It is only God. And that's why by a month's time, we'll be launching a book. And the book, I've asked him to help me do the foreword. I'm not writing a book for writing. I'm writing a book to just document some of the things we went through and to be able to thank God, to say that all powers belong to God. And the title of the book is, And It Came to Pass. And it just came to pass that after all of that, we are standing here. So we came today to thank God that he has kept us strong. After being governor, I cannot tell you the things that we pass through sometimes. Two o'clock, three o'clock, there are calls, security issues here and there. And one day I told him, I said, sir, if you had told me all of these ones, I wouldn't follow you into this thing. So we thank God so much 
God has been faithful. God has kept Akwaibo. God has kept the state united. United. That is for me an achievement. That is for me beyond anything else. That God has kept the state in peace. Peace from um, Abuja. There's no Abuja front. There's no Uyo front. We have worked together harmoniously. And so I want to thank everyone. I'd like to thank my father for the peace he has given to me to be in office. We know what is happening in other states, but I can say to the glory of God, this man has not brought any pressure on me. Not one day, not one day. And so I have to thank you publicly, sir. Thank you so much for your counsel. Thank you for your support. Thank you for all the things you do to ensure that we keep running and all the advice you give. I'd like to thank the Senate President. And I want to say so because to be a governor and have the number three citizen in another party in your state, you know that if God is not with you, it's not an easy thing. Because, but God has given them a heart that takes me around, wants us to work together, discusses things with me, and continuously assure that he will support me to the very end. I think the support is what we have seen today, that Her Excellency, our grandma, had to come and represent him. You've seen the minister, myself and the minister, are almost like brothers. Uh, we are brothers. Uh, we don't even look at party. We work together. He was here on Sunday. He's here today. And um, Saturday I'll be in Abuja for the son's wedding, you know. Because of the way we are working, it's such a... And all of the people, you know. So we want to thank God that this state is together. We can stay across party lines and we can work harmoniously. Because when, if there is a problem, we won't be able to gather like this. For me, this is the greatest testimony after my health after my wife's health, after my children and grandchildren. The fact that Akwaibom State is united and we are making progress is a great testimony. Finally, let me thank the priesthood. Thank you so much, sirs and mas, for your prayers, for your support. And um, the former president have said it all. And Thanks for standing by me, giving me that support, giving me that push, not just for my sake today, but who knows who God will bring from amongst us again tomorrow. So we thank you. Thank you so much. On behalf of my family, my wife, and all of us, I'd like to thank you. So I'd like my wife to bring one song, and please, because we came for Thanksgiving, before we move to cut the cake, let's just dance a little. So we can cut the cake and then we can start going home. But I'd like to thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you very much indeed. Praise the Lord. My God is a good God. Yes, he is. Da -da -da -da. Tom, Tom. <laughs>
My name is Colin Sayar. Uh, I'm from the UK. I'm the director of Quantum Engineering Consultancy. Mm. And uh, we've just been invited to introduce renewable energy to Nigeria. Yeah. And my dear friend has um, said that, you know, Aquibom is a good place to start. So we're here to like uh, lend our support. Um, 60 is a, is a remarkable figure and we all pray to leave, get to that age and surpass it. You know, like you heard, he lost his dad at the age of 50 mm. and he's moved on to 60 right now. We pray and wish him many more years and, um, you know, pray that his legacy will be something remarkable, you know, that will live beyond his years. <laughs>